Hi, I'm Vincent Encomio with the University of Florida IFAS and Florida Sea Grant. And we're going to continue reading the book Clan I Am. Again, with permission from Random House Publishers. So let's pick up where we last left off, Lily, okay? Okay. All right. So we were on the beach and we learned about sandpipers. They run with the water at low tide. Yeah. They search with their bills to find worms where they hide. Yeah. Spend time on the beach and you'll see right away the ocean has high and low tides every day. Tides are caused by the sun and the moon. And I know their forces pull the ocean and make the tides low. At low tide, the water pulls back from the shore. At high tide, it is back where it started before. A tide table like this makes it easy to see when today's two low tides and two high tides will be. If you walk on the beach at low tide, you will find all kinds of sea creatures the tide left behind. See these clear bobs of jelly? Thing two and I fear them. Some jellyfish sting, so we do not go near them. Yeah, if you go closer to them, they will sting you. Maybe. Okay, so we don't touch them, right? Yeah. Some shells. You or, like shells? Or, or they sting us. Yeah. Some shells travel miles and miles without breaking. Find a shell in one piece and you know it's worth taking. Find a big shell like this, put it up to your ear. You might be surprised by the sounds that you hear. Mm. Sounds like the ocean. Mm -hmm. This tidal pool you will find is a home to creatures who stay here and who never roam. These shells are called barnacles. These shells are called barnacles. Watch them right here. When a wave washes over them, threads will appear. These threads are the barnacles' feathery feet. They grab food floating by for this creature to eat. Can you move like a barnacle? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like that. Cool. Not far from the shore, sand is blown into dunes. Dunes are home to crabs, birds, rabbits, mice, and raccoons. Is that a rat? Right here. Is it a raccoon? There's a raccoon right there. Do you see it? Yeah. When we go to the beach, we make sure that we take some old sneakers, a pail, a small net, and a rake. We wear our old sneakers without any socks, so our feet won't get cut by glass, shells, or rocks. A net lets you scoop things out of the sea. Yes. A rake helps us dig in the sand easily. We put what we find in our pail and then, when it is time to go home, set them free once again. The next part of my show I call Go Ask the Fish. I will answer three questions. Pick one, if you wish. The first question is, why is the ocean blue? That's a good question, huh? Yeah. Ocean water is or clear. It just looks or I blue. I try to chomp you like their teeth because their teeth are really big. Yeah, like that shark right there. <gasps> Watch out. Oh. All right. Well, here's why. Like a mirror, it shines back the blue from the sky. If you look at the ocean on a dark, cloudy day, 
It shines back the clouds so the water looks gray. Stormy. Yeah. Why is seawater salty? That's the second question. Raindrops fall from the sky and fill rivers which flow. Walshing salt salt off rocks wherever they go. Rivers flow to the ocean and as the years pass, some water heats up and is turned into gas. The salt in the water is left, and that's why oceans get saltier as time passes by. Here's the third question, Lily. What makes waves? Wind blows over water, and small waves then grow. They get bigger and bigger, the stronger winds blow. They keep growing, going and growing, and head toward the land, and the waves hit the beach, and they crash on the sand. When the strong winds die down, then the waves die down too, until the next time when the wind blows on through. <gasps> next, it's shop with the fish. We have gifts from the sea. You can order today, and the gifts are all free. We have pieces of sea glass. The sun makes them glow. They are pieces of bottles that broke long ago. They were tossed by the waves. Over time, they were ground by the salt and the sand till the edges were round. I've got lots of sea glass and most of it's green. This piece is the prettiest I've ever seen. We have beautiful driftwood, and here's the best part. It's ready-made sculpture, real pieces of art. Tossed by the wind and the waves every day, it was bleached by the sun till it turned a light gray. To make this wind chime, I took lots of shells and hung them together. They jingle like bells. To make the sand painting, first take colored sand. Then, for the patterns, let it fall from your hand. You should try that. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, our show's over. We must hit the road. Please join us next time for a new episode. Come back to the beach. You will smell the salt air. Hear the cry of the gull. Feel the wind in your hair. You will find a seashell to hold in your hand. Build a high castle. Dig your toes in the sand. Everywhere that you look, you'll find creatures galore. When you look even closer, you'll find even more. The end. Are you ready to go to the beach? Uh -huh. Yeah? Okay, let's go. See you later, Mommy. See you later. Thanks for reading with me.